Hey, how goes it? So it took three days, but I finally got enough attacks to make an episode. And it looks like we're coming out more or less on top. I mean, yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. We won five of them. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see. And... No real return customers, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna grab my mines. We'll get a general idea as to where people failed. One was the boss, which is kind of cool. Let's grab. Uh, we're full on life force, so that's fine. We're just gonna top off here. We'll gather some of that, and then we'll get the rest of it later. Uh, some people died pretty early, so we're gonna have some fun watching this. Um, I want to... Screw it, we're gonna start upgrading this. It's incredibly expensive right now to upgrade anything. It's kind of annoying to be honest. I think they're going to rebalance it because it's so expensive that it takes forever to get there. Um, and since they immediately cut off farms, a lot of players are just dropping it until they rebalance. So, I don't know. Alright, let's start down here. Uh, we lost the Stingfisticus. But he runs through here and smashes things somewhat frequently. Um, let's see. I wanted some defense, like, you know, replay videos. Because, uh, I just upgraded the uh, portal. So I've got 20 points to play with. And, uh, I need to upgrade the architecture again, but I'll worry about that later. Ooh. That was good. Alright, we'll speed this first one up. We know he beats us. I just want to kind of get a vague idea as to how. Probably because he knows the place and he's a subscriber. I mean, he comes through here often enough. He's not really exactly having any trouble with the area. Also, he is a few levels higher than the little castle is. Well, that was a waste. Yeah, the fact that he knows the castle is pretty evident. I don't think there's much we're going to learn from this replay, to be honest. kind of sweeping through. You have to use a potion, that's good. And you know, even though he knew the castle, it still took him five minutes and, well, five minutes or so to, uh, actually beat the place, so... If you were going cautiously and didn't know the, the castle, I could see it taking a lot longer. And even though I knew the place, you did get down close to dying twice, which is pretty good. A good mistake and you could probably lose. 
Alright, so I want to see this first win. Alright, so this guy only makes it a minute and a half through, so we'll watch it at normal speed. And I'm almost thinking about getting rid of these archers in the first room. I mean, they're okay, but I kind of want to try something different. Just because people pull back to the uh, to the corner. So I think I need no pretty much nothing but melee units here. And I've unlocked vampires, so maybe I'll try putting some of those in here. I still want to give the possibility of a double pull. So whatever I put at the beginning will have to be a slow moving thing. Just trying to see around and get hit a lot there. Okay, so this guy, I think this is a practice, so he he probably knows the castle somewhat, too, if he came looking for me. I don't think he knows what he's in for. Yep, there it is. Those eyes hit really hard. I had a feeling something like that was going to happen. Alright, so, this guy apparently got close. Off by 8 seconds, it says. Mm, no, maybe more, because our time isn't 5.30 anymore. I keep forgetting that that changed. Those archers are getting up here too quickly. What are you doing, bro? There's your 15 seconds right there. Hmm. Yeah, if we put some fast melee units in here or something, it would be good. And everybody waits. Double pulls are getting harder and harder to do. This is working out interestingly. Kind of watching how he's playing as well. I think I'm going to... Uh, well, I don't know. Sometimes this archer does a good job. Sometimes he doesn't. Like my uh, smelly archer there. I find usually he gets killed real easily and really quickly. But uh, sometimes he does a good job. Sometimes he pokes for a couple hundred extra damage. Alright, he done double fold now. Wow, this is doing exactly what I wanted it to. Oh, but he got killed. Ooh, narrowly, narrowly avoided those pokes. Ooh, and again. Hmm. 
Well, so far this is decently damaging, and it's, uh... Well, no health for you. I could technically fill this pool in quite a bit. Put at least one more thing in there. Alright, that worked pretty much exactly how it was supposed to. I'm cutting it close. So that's half his potions gone. Unfortunately, he's most of the way through the castle. He's not going to use two potions in the rest of this. Can't handle my heels. We're eating up time pretty good. And this last fight can be kind of long for an archer. Depending on their set up. If they've got a volley, it's quick. But because archers have that kind of slow wind-up, sometimes it uh, takes a real long time to get this guy down. Oh, you're not going to make it. Go back for the shield bow. Oh well. Consolation prize. Yep, that was close. If he didn't waste that time in the very beginning, he uh, would have gotten through no problem. Alright, so that basically told me a little bit. Um, this guy actually managed to rob us, which is interesting, though by a very slim margin. Um, sure, we'll just play all of them, take notes, and go back and change things. I think our opening archers are pretty much done for, though. Unless they do some amazing stuff here in the beginning. But still, we can replace them with even more amazing stuff, so... It feels like these mines don't do as much damage as they used to. Yeah, these archers are pretty much done for. I also feel like the um, the healer bone puppeteers got nerfed. I thought they still summoned four, but now they're summoning two. A lot of things seem to be getting changed on a minor scale. You know, little effectiveness tweaks. Double pull? Yes, double pull. Although he's got volley, so this could get bloody quick. It's pretty smart pulling everything back around corners again and again. Even if he's standing there taking damage from the uh, fire. Oh, that could have killed him if he hadn't moved for another second. This is very close. And then of course our our last fucking steermaster just kinda like spaced out there for a little while. That's cool. Oh, you done goofed. That was close. He almost fucked up pretty bad there. So 
So far I'd have to say the number of close calls means that I'm doing things right, even though he did manage to get through because he popped potions or pulled a smart pull around the corner or something. Also, that ballistic thing is still shooting backwards. I don't know what the deal with that is. Hmm. So far, I think I'm doing an okay job. It's just not as good as it could be. There's health there, bro. You can grab that. There, now, now he sees it. <coughs> Snotters don't feel as good as they used to be either. If he gets hooked, I know he doesn't, because I know he beats this thing, but if he gets hooked, damn, if he, if he had gotten hooked and shot by those archers, it would have been pretty much game over. Good angle. Oh, that was close to murdering him. But of course, he's got volley, so. Yeah. He freaking dodged the. Or block that one and then stun the thing down to death. And there were many, many times there where he could have died if he had just gotten a little bit more unlucky. He didn't even get that much out of it as far as treasure. Hmm. Oh well. Let's watch people getting murdered for a couple minutes and then we'll look at how we can improve. Hmm, his damage output's not super high. I guess it's high enough. His armor is decent too. He must, uh, fuck up and double pull or something here. Or eat a couple of freaking Stairmasters. Seems like this guy knows our castle. Pretty sure this wasn't a practice. Oh, there's half of it. Oh, there's another three of them, and a double pull. Well, that could have gone better. He could have tried kicking or something. No, that was just a matchmaking. That's fine. Alright, let's see how the archers do in this situation. It's a pretty good voodoo bow. It's pretty hard.
Hmm. Still got hit by that. And people say the vo the voodoo bow sucks. I mean, it hits hard because it hits magic damage. A lot of things don't do magic damage. Alright, let's speed up a little bit. Alright, double pull. I want to see how this plays out. Oh god, everything's here. Oh, he died. And he comes back. Alright, he's just gonna run through and see if he can see as much as he can see, I guess. Scouting mission. That is not the right direction, don't go that way. There's a Scorpio there. That's also not the right direction. But good try. Oh god. It's usually not a good idea to pull an entire dungeon. I know this. Pulling everything. Oh, can't roll through that. Man, should have volleyed. Well, that was kind of fun to watch. Alright. And we'll make this episode a little bit longer. Alright, double time. Yeah, these archers are worthless. So I'm going to take this time to talk a little bit about the state of the game. Um, right now a lot of people are complaining about balance, which I believe is fully justified. While Ubisoft is just pushing harder and harder to have people buy beta codes. Um, the fan base is not super happy about this. God, what are you doing? What are you, what are you even doing? I don't know if he knows what he's doing. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, well. What's with people and pulling my entire castle? I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm just curious as to why, the pe why all these people are doing it. I mean, it's not the kind of castle you can pull in one big go. Anyhow, so yeah, people are complaining about the state of the game right now and that it needs a rebalance and that the publisher is pushing monetary things, they want microtransactions to work better, they want all this stuff, they want more people to buy beta keys and all that, and uh, they're giving superficial stuff. Are you just gonna... Are you just gonna... Okay. And, uh, so they're, they're doing all this stuff, and the devs aren't really balancing right, and it, there's not really, it's like, they focused on making the game into two parts, which we already know, which is attack and defend, but really what they didn't realize is the fan base is going into two parts. There's the people who really like attacking and the people who really like defending. I personally really like defending a lot more than attacking. Um, and they're picking favorites, it feels like sometimes. You know, they're, they're buffing attacking a lot and debuffing the defending. Just really nerfing the shit out of a lot of our things. And what they're giving us in return, like a lower um, Shieldatron cost from 16 to 14. I don't really care. I've never used it before because it's un it's underutilized and underuseful anyways. So uh let's gather up the last of this. 
basically what I'm saying is the game needs a rebalance and it needs it pretty bad and uh, I'm I'm not really playing a whole lot until it gets fixed because it's not fun